With some of the coolest and most unique loudspeaker designs out there, electrostatics can be prized possessions within audiophile land. But what makes them different from your average loudspeaker? Let's discuss. I'm Elon Osborne, and this is Acoustically Speaking. Electrostatic loudspeakers have been on any audiophile's radar since the late 50s, and even now, we can all marvel at the technology behind them. Peter Walker may have been the first to offer a commercially successful product with the Quad ESLs, but he certainly wasn't the first to experiment with the technology. The history of electrostatic loudspeakers dates back to the early 20th century. Can you believe it? Back when scientists and engineers first began exploring the use of electrostatic principles for sound reproduction. The basic idea of using an electrostatic force to vibrate a thin, conductive diaphragm to produce sound was first demonstrated by Oliver Lodge, a British physicist in the late 19th century. In the 1920s and 1930s, several inventors and engineers, including Arthur Janssen and Paul L. Voigt, began developing and commercializing electrostatic loudspeaker designs. However, these early designs were limited by the available technology and were not widely adopted. It was not until the mid-20th century that significant advancements in materials science and electronics made it possible to produce high-quality electrostatic speakers on a larger scale. Companies such as Quad and Martin Logan emerged as leaders in the field, and electrostatic speakers became popular among audiophiles and professional recording studios. Today, electrostatic loudspeakers remain a niche product, appreciated by a dedicated group of enthusiasts for their clarity and accuracy, but they have not gained widespread adoption due to their high cost and complexity. An electrostatic loudspeaker is a type of speaker that uses electrostatic force to move a thin diaphragm, typically made of lightweight materials such as mylar, between two electrically charged metal plates. When an audio signal is applied to the grids, the diaphragm is driven back and forth, producing sound waves. Electrostatic speakers are known for their wide frequency response, high accuracy, and low distortion. But they can also be more difficult to manufacture and design than conventional dynamic speakers. Gail Sanders shared with us during a podcast episode some of the schematics and images of the first Martin Logan designs, and made it clear that it took an enormous amount of money and time to build panels that were not only able to offer high-end performance, but remain stable when used. There are two main types of electrostatic speakers, full range and hybrid. Full range electrostatic speakers are self-contained units that use a single conductive diaphragm to produce all frequencies of sound. These speakers are known for their wide frequency response and accurate sound reproduction, but they can be expensive and challenging to integrate into a home audio system. Hybrid electrostatic speakers, on the other hand, combine an electrostatic panel with a traditional dynamic woofer to produce a wider frequency range. The electrostatic panel is responsible for reproducing high frequency sounds, while the dynamic woofer handles low frequency sounds. These speakers are a more affordable and practical alternative to a full range electrostatic speaker, but may not match their sound quality. You may have read about planar and curved electrostatic loudspeakers and wondered if they are the same thing. They are in fact not the same. Planner electrostatic speakers are a type of electrostatic speaker where the diaphragm is flat and is positioned between two parallel metal plates. Curved electrostatic speakers offer a very different approach. The diaphragm is curved to form a cylinder or dome shape. This design helps to improve the sound dispersion and the overall audio quality. Martin Logan has used this approach since its inception. What are the advantages of electrostatic speakers over traditional dynamic speakers? Electrostatic speakers are known for their exceptional clarity and accuracy due in part to their thin diaphragm and the way they produce sound. The thin diaphragm of an electrostatic speaker has less mass than a traditional speaker cone, which reduces distortion and allows for a more accurate reproduction of the audio signal. Electrostatic speakers have a wide frequency response, which allows them to produce a wide range of sounds from deep bass to high treble with equal clarity and accuracy. The thin diaphragm of an electrostatic speaker also helps to improve the sound dispersion as it radiates sound more evenly in all directions. As you may have already guessed, the initial investment can be rather steep. 
You can certainly find used pairs online, and that includes older models from Quad, Innersound, SoundLab, and Martin Logan. But there is the issue of panel replacement. Gail Sanders confirmed to us that any panel older than 12 to 15 years needs to be replaced. Something that the Martin Logan factory based in Ontario can do. Martin Logan still has an office in Lawrence, Kansas, where the company started, but the new panels are made in the facility outside of Toronto. Quad offers new models for sale, but restoration of the original ESLs or Quad ESL 63s can be a very expensive endeavor, and definitely not something you should do yourself. Electrostatic loudspeakers require space. Unless you give this type of speaker two to three feet at a minimum from the wall behind them, they're probably not a good match for your room. It's a myth that you need a very powerful amplifier to drive electrostatic loudspeakers. Stable amplifiers are a must into four or two ohms. You can run tube amplifiers with certain designs, but they will need to be stable into four ohms and at least 50 to 75 watts per channel. We would definitely recommend CJ, which is solid state, Pass Labs, Mark Levinson, Bryston, Class Audio, Adcom, Aragon, and older Krell amps with these loudspeakers. Although a surprise amp contender would also be the Blue Circle BC6 set hybrid amplifier, which is only 25 watts per channel. But we can tell you right now, the BC6 does not operate like any other 25 watt amplifier, and it matches the request almost perfectly. Electrostatic loudspeakers offer a level of transparency that dynamic loudspeakers still can't match for the most part, but that requires greater flexibility when it comes to setup and your choice of amplification. Get it right and you won't ever want to go back to anything else. Just saying. And that about wraps up this episode of Acoustically Speaking. Have you even had the chance to hear electrostatic loudspeakers before? If so, what has been your experience? Are they even worth the hype despite the often steep price tag? Let us know in the comments below. As always, to keep up on all things hi-fi, home audio, home theater, wearables, gadgets, and tech, don't forget to bookmark eacoustics.com. Until next time.